we're back for part two, and this time it's the five axis edition. Now, the vice is all set up, but let me tell you a little bit about the machine we'll be using. This is the DVF 5000 five axis machine from Mills CNC. And as you can see, I'd like to say a big thank you to Mills for allowing us to use this machine. This time round, we've got the 6650 zero point vice from Bison, and we're gonna see just what it's made of. This time round, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to go through what's actually happening in the machine because this wasn't programmed conversationally. We've had this programmed offline using Open Mind Hype Mill. And I just want to talk you through some of the operations you're about to see. Now, there's going to be some pocket milling. There's going to be some plunge roughing. There's going to be some optimised roughing. More pocket milling. Some high feed drilling. So there's going to be a lot going on to see how this vise handles different types of operations, whether that's close to the vise or even at the top end as far away from the vise as possible just to see how good it actually is. Now, this next bit's gonna be really cool. We're gonna use high feed drilling at the furthest point away from the vise. Now, this is where it could get a bit tasty because all the forces are gonna be trying to push it out the vise. So, let's see how it handles it. So we're going to be a bit brave on this next operation because we're going to use a 6mm end mill without pulling. Now, depending on whether the end mill can handle it or not is whether the end mill will build up a bit with aluminium. So let's see how this vise handles that extra pressure.
Now, this is one of the final parts, and it's one of the coolest parts to see, and that's the five axis debuted, because this is when you'll see all the axes moving simultaneously, and it just looks great, and it just shows the capability of this machine. So, I've done another challenge, and you know what? I've put this vice through its paces, I've given it quite a lot to deal with. I've made a few of these uh, logo designs today. We've had some adaptive roughing, some 3D roughing, even some high-speed drilling. And you know what? This vice has not put a foot wrong. It's great that it's got the quick point play. It's great, it's great that it's got the riser for your five-axis machines. So, all in all, it's been a great day, and I, I always love getting back on the machine to do some machining. And it's always great fun because just look again how much swarf I've made. Now, it's all fun and games, doing these challenges, back running a machine, but God, I hate this bit. <laughs>